Moths tend to get a bad rap compared to their butterfly cousins. While many are drab, and some are pests, moths outnumber butterflies nine to one and come in all kinds of shapes, sizes, patterns, and colors. Butterflies are active during the day and have smooth clubbed antennae. Most moths are nocturnal and have feathered or whip-like antennae. Some are pollinators, while others do not feed as adults. A few species even drink blood, like mosquitoes. All moths begin their lives as tiny eggs, no larger than the head of a pin. After hatching, the caterpillars eat voraciously. As they grow larger, they go through different instars during which they molt their skins and change appearance. Some, like this saddleback caterpillar, are armed with toxic spines that can deliver a painful sting. Others boast harmless but intimidating spikes, like the ones that earned this hickory-horned devil its nickname. Adult moths in the family Saturnidae have no mouth parts and must do all their eating as caterpillars. The leaves they consume as larvae will provide all the energy they need for the rest of their lives. Eventually, the time comes to grow up. The caterpillar stops eating and begins the change that will turn it into a moth. This Citheronia regalis has turned brown as the chemicals in its body prepare for pupation. Here you can see dark hemolymph pumping through the body of a hornworm caterpillar just before pupating. This is the moth's equivalent of blood. Saturnidae moths, like this Cecropia, usually spin cocoons out of silk and dry leaves to protect themselves during metamorphosis. The cocoons of some species are used by humans to make silk fabric. Other species do not spin silk cocoons and simply pupate underground. But growing up isn't easy. Inside the pupa, the caterpillar partially unmakes itself. Parts of its body melt away and become goo. Eventually, it reforms into a new shape and emerges as an adult moth. This process is called eclosing. At first, the newly eclosed moth is wet and vulnerable, with folded wings and a swollen abdomen. As its wings dry and unfold, it gently beats them to fill them with hemolymph and prepare for flight. Because this luna moth has no functional mouth parts, it only has a week to live before dying of starvation. The pressure is on to find a mate. Moths find romance by singing chemical love songs. Retractable organs at the tips of their abdomens emit pheromones into the air for other moths to find. After mating, the female lays eggs, and the cycle begins anew. The 10th National Moth Week is July 17th to July 25th, 2021. You can participate in citizen science by visiting nationalmothweek.org and finding an event near you, or by observing moths in your own backyard, using nothing more than a bright light and a bedsheet. You may also share your discoveries with the Great American Indiana Nature Lepidoptera Project, or GAIN-LP, by visiting indiananature.net.